Welcome to Gossamer's Poorly Kept Secrets of Healthy Enough Very Long Hair. Part 1. See these? These are scissors. These are hair scissors. Put them down. Okay. Now that you've put the scissors down, there are a few conditions under which you may pick them back up. First, if you don't actually want long hair and feel happy with your hair looking some other way, pick them back up, go wild, have fun. Enjoy your hair. You can also pick them back up for trimming. Trimming helps keep split ends under control and can lead to a nice blunt looking hemline if that's what you're going for. Um, the downside to trimming, of course, is that as you're growing from your scalp, you're subtracting from below and um, it means that the net growth rate of your hair will be less than if you were not trimming. However, if you're not trimming off the split ends, there is a very real chance that because they tangle, they'll cause damage that will travel up and you'll end up losing that, um, that growth anyway. You can also pick them up if you decide not to go with regular blunt trims. Um, you can pick them up to do what we call search and destroy, which is you go through your ends of your hair. Hi, cat. And um, school. Thank you. You look for where you might see split ends. And believe me, I have quite a lot of them. The light here just isn't that great. Aha! And when you have found your target, you clip it off with your nice sharp hair scissors that you use for nothing but hair. No paper, dear lord, paper dulls scissors. No kitchen items. No fabric, hair. <laughs> 